Good afternoon, Atlanta. My name is Jerry Tomlinson. I'm a beauty and lifestyle writer with Control Magazine. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Miss Natasha Mosley. She's a singer songwriter. Her resume is endless. She's worked with Zaytoven, FKI, KE on the track, Tyga, YG, and the list goes on. So, how are you doing today, Miss Mosley? Good. How are you? I'm doing great and everything. Um, we know you have some mu new music coming out, new EP called Rose Hall. Yes. And it's a duality <laughs> meaning. So, let's go ahead and explain what does that mean to you, Rose Hall? Um, Rose Hall basically I took both of my grandmother's last name off of my mom and my dad's side and I took the first name and the last name and I put them together which created Rose Hall mm -hmm. but um, to me I felt like when you look at a rose it blossoms and this is like my first project so it's like me just giving myself out like just opening up to everyone because I've never put out a body of work before right. so that's why I named it Rose Hall and to just open up and express all the different sides of me Cool. Um, with you being this being your first body of work that you're putting out to the public, are you nervous? Um, in a good way. I'm nervous in a good way because nobody really gets to hear the other side of me or hear what else I have to say. Right. So I'm excited about that. We always get to hear you from the pen, not right. vocals, which is also a good thing because there's a lot of singer songwriters like The Dream, Candy mm -hmm. Burris, and the list goes on. Other people that you always hear their work from writing songs for other artists right. but a lot of song singer songwriters like Kerry Hilson don't mm -hmm. know how to transcend into them becoming their own artist a perfect example is like Neo you know he's written for everybody but he's also an excellent artist right and everything so um, another question I wanted to ask what inspires you to write when you're writing um I'm inspired by my surroundings and just seeing different situations and what other people go through and even my situations like I have a song called make it up to myself which basically is like I've been in this situation for so long wasting all this time I need to make it up to myself like I'm gonna go fly out have a good time hang out with my girls have a few drinks like and make up all this wasted time exactly. like you know what I'm saying just and going through that I know other women go through that as well so it's just basically about being relatable you know what I'm saying to other women because that's what I like I like to hear songs that I can relate to do you feel like your other song love me later is relatable as well yes I definitely feel like that one is definitely relatable and it's sensitive to me it really is because it's like you're ready to love somebody and they're not ready to love you yet exactly <laughs> so what is your writing process when you're writing for other artists or your own music what do you like to do are you a type that just you know put on headphones sit in the corner do you like to take a nice bath do you like to run first and then what do you like to do when you're writing um, <laughs> sometimes I like to light candles okay um, sometimes I just like to sit on the balcony because I wake up early I wake up like around like six seven o'clock every morning so sometimes I like to go sit out on the balcony while everybody's still asleep mm -hmm. and just relax and just write because my brain is fresh in the morning time um, I know you're from Atlanta. What side of, what part of Atlanta are you from? Gwinnett. Gwinnett? North side. Okay, you're from the north side. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn originally, but I was raised on the south side of Atlanta. So okay. So, I rep the south side pretty hard. All right. <laughs> so, um, with you being here from Atlanta and everything, um, do you feel like the city has influenced any of your music and your style? Uh, definitely. Um, just like, um, I have a song called Anything. Okay. You know, Atlanta's all right now based off of the strip club and everything and the song anything is called um basically means anything she could do i could do better and i kind of got that vision from just being in the strip club in atlanta follies i'm always a follies so, <laughs> um, you know we were follies one day and the guy i was with was just looking at the dancer like just in amazement and i'm sitting here looking at him like okay this is what you like okay i could do that i could do this i don't know about that one yet but I, you know what I'm i'll try to get it yet. right so <laughs> and it's basically anything she could do i could do better and that's kind of where i got it from just the club scene in atlanta sounds good sounds good and i also want to ask some questions and it's not dealing with music but definitely your style because i feel like your style and music goes parallel what are some of your favorite makeup trends um makeup trends other than like what do you like as far as are you one of those girls who just like a winged eye do you like a red lip oh um i love a red lip okay okay i, love okay. Red lip. I know i got my red lip on the day but I love a red lip always. Um, and I do like eyeliner. But the eyeliner has to be 
very neat okay. and very straight because if it's not, it looks kind of tacky and I don't like that. Uh, so you basically like a liquid eyeliner versus I a like pencil. a liquid eyeliner, very smooth. Come real specific about that. And um, I love concealer. Okay. Concealer is my thing. Do you like concealer versus um, foundation? Because we know concealer kind of hides, I feel like, beauty and perfection a little bit better. And I, foundation sometimes give you like a cakey look. Right. So. But but you want to know what the um, the powder, the finish finisher powder, um, what's it called? Press powder. The press powder. That's what helps me because when I always put my concealer on, it always folds. Okay, okay, okay. And um, that helps me. And I know what you're talking about with the cake look. Mm -hmm. But even if, for, I feel like even if you use the liquid and then use the finishing powder afterwards, it kind of like evens it out. Okay, cool. Sounds good. What about your nails and everything? Are you the classic type? Because I know when I go to the nail salon, I just like a gel base, gel manicure, overlay. That's it. What do you like? Um, I like gel. Very um, square, super square. Like I could scratch somebody square <laughs> <laughs> with the side of my nail or write my name in the sand. <laughs> cool. I like it like that. And I like um, neutral colors. Okay. Or if not no neutral colors, just design. Sometimes I get real ghetto. I have diamonds on every single nail covered. It just depends on whatever you're feeling. However I'm feeling, but always square, super square. Okay, I did some research on you, on you and I found something very interesting that your lineage go back to Bessie Smith. And yes. we all know Bessie Smith, she is like if there wasn't for Bessie Smith, the Ella Fitzgeralds, the My Rainies, we wouldn't be here today as far as you as an artist. Right. So how does that make you feel knowing that your lineage goes all the way back <laughs> to the blues area? Um, it makes me feel like it's meant to be. That's like the most way I can explain it. Like, all right, this is really how it's supposed to be because um, I've only heard stories about her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, just just hearing the way that she sings and um, Billie Holiday used to listen to her and I was yes. like, we all love Billie Holiday. Yes, yes, yes. That's like Billie Holiday's Beyonce. Exactly. That's a good comparison. That, right? For the time, that's actually a good comparison. So, and it made me feel like, dang, well, that's in my family, so I got a good chance. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I still, I still, it feels great. Do you feel like her music influenced your music today and your sound? Um, what she talks about. Okay. What she talks about. And, um, I just feel like. When I the stories that I read about her is that she sung so loud she never she didn't need a mic, mm -hmm. like her voice was that powerful, and she didn't even need a mic, and that's kind of where I want to be too. I know I'm small, but most small people have big voices anyway. Yeah, you're um you about four eleven five feet. No four eleven. Okay, well I, I, was yeah, right trying that. Extra, I was trying to give you some extra leverage. <laughs> Thank here. you. But when I first heard your songs. I was thinking this girl cannot belt out those notes because you know not not downplaying you but I just didn't realize like for you to be so small you pack a powerful punch. Oh yeah. And I love that about you like and I feel like your voice carries and everything it transcends through the song it doesn't matter what beat you on I feel mm -hmm. like I'm doing this you still gonna make it work. Yeah. <laughs> so how was your experience working in the studio with FKI for your two singles Love Me Later and Make It Up To Myself? Um well FKI is home base you know what I'm saying like we be in the studio every day, even if I'm not recording, I'm up there just vibing out or writing or just hanging out. And you know what I'm saying? It's just being with them is like being at home, like with your brothers. And you know what I'm saying? It's also, we also got the Zulu game. Exactly. And it's like a group of us. And it was, it's like a family. You know what I'm saying? You go home at night and then you go to your other home during the day with all your family. So um, working with them is, is just comfortable and fun. Cause it's like family. Do you feel when you're in the studio any pressure, or is it more just like you're just going in just to do your own thing? Like this is what I'm feeling like today. Even if I am recording something for Rose Hall, do you feel pressure when you're going into the studio? Not at all. Not at all, especially not with them. That's good. That's good. How was your experience working with uh, Tiger and YG, Zay Tobin, and all those other guys? Um, fun. Uh, Tiger's awesome. You know, um, very humble, sweet. He was very into the song. Uh, we have a song called Tattoo. Tattoo. Mm -hmm. And um, he came in the studio, he was all into it, wrote his verse. Then, you know, he sat down, he's like, all right, we got to figure out how the video's going to go. The video got to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, made me feel good about myself. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I want to be when I, you know what I'm saying, become bigger. Just making people feel good about themselves. Um, YG was awesome as well. Um, I worked with him. He came in, heard the hook. 
love the hook, listened to it like 50 million times, um, wrote his verse, you know, vibed out with us, had a good time. Um, who else? Zay Tobin. Zay Tobin, he's awesome. Um, you know, he has a studio in his house. So every time we walk in, the cameraman's like right there in my face, you know what I'm saying? And he captures every moment. So working with Zaytoven is awesome because also you never know who's going to walk in the house. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's other artists in there all the time. So it's, it's a good opportunity to meet other people as well. When I was there, it was um, it was Young Dolph and I believe it was Bigger Rankings that was in there when uh -huh. I walked in. I was like, oh. Yeah, I just heard you. I was listening to Preach on the way up here. <laughs> yeah. It's because I just like that kind of music. But it's just so funny. You never know who you run into Especially here in Atlanta. Especially over there, like, because he knows everybody. Everybody's so cool with that. Exactly. Like, How important is it giving back to the community? Very important. I feel like it's very important and um, especially on holidays like don't get me wrong you definitely do it whenever you can always but especially on holidays because some people are real sensitive you know what I'm saying they don't have it on that special day you know what I'm saying I feel like holidays are just a little bit more special than other days for you to take the time out of your daily schedule to give to someone else if you were trapped on an island and you can only take five items what would it be and why Ooh. Or trapped on an island yep you somewhere in Tahiti. Ain't no boat coming to get Natasha. No. <laughs> Trap. Uh, okay, I'll take my Bible. Okay, of course you need that. Um, I would take... Oh, goodness. Can I take my phone? If you want to. I gotta take my phone. I got everything on it. You got your phone, you good. Nowadays. <laughs> um, okay, I'll take my Bible. I'll take my phone. Um... How am I gonna eat? Fish. <laughs> How am I gonna eat? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll be drinking salt water. <laughs> um, okay, I need three other things. Um, bring my makeup bag. Oh, yeah, you're gonna need that. Because I'm pretty sure some other islands are around somewhere. Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> some other people. And, uh, shoot, my shoes and my clothes. Okay, shoes, clothes, makeup, everything. Mm -hmm. If it was me, I would have to definitely take my Bible. Gotta take my phone for music. Some cocoa butter. <laughs> cocoa butter is a natural you sunblock. Have cocoa butter. You got to, that. you got to. It works as a skin, a, skin, a sunscreen, and it keeps you, your skin, sun kiss. You gotta have that. A toothbrush. Oh. And I'm gonna have to have a bottle of water, so. Smart <laughs> water, preferably. That's what I would tell Only one? Uh, maybe like a gallon. Yeah, you like gotta that. bring a couple. <laughs> but that's what I would say. Alright. Another question I wanted to ask. How do you like to dress? I see today you have on like a nice, you know, jumpsuit and everything like that. Whether you go into an interview or relaxing, what's your style? Um, my style is comfortable. Okay. But when I'm on stage, I like to, my, my style is totally different. I want to be glamorous, shiny, glitzy. I want to be like a big light bulb. Like everybody look here. That's how I want to be when I'm on stage. Cause, and especially because I'm so small, I just want to. You know what I'm saying? Rock out while I'm on the stage and just have fun. But when I'm just chilling or doing an interview like that today, I like to look nice okay. and classy and just well prepared for whatever. Besides you working on your EP, Rose Hall, are you working with any other artists currently? Or are you just focused on your career right now? Um, other than Rose Hall, me and Zay Tobin have a project coming out called Nate Tobin. Okay. And um, other than that, 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 those two are just the main projects I'm working on right now. Can you elaborate a little bit more on Nato and why the Nato name? Um, he actually picked the name, but he was playing. Like, mm. yeah, Nato, but I was serious. Like, I actually really like that name. So that's how we got Nato. Um, Is it because of the collaboration between you guys? Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I wrote on everything. Okay. Um, I, I wrote with um, Young LA. Okay. On one of the songs, it was really crazy because it's like I'm talking all this crazy mess, but in a slick way, uh, and coming from a girl. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From a girl, and it just, I just can't wait for everyone to hear it because it's gonna sound different. It's gonna sound real different. It's probably gonna have less than 10 songs on there. Probably like seven or eight songs on there. When is that project um, going to come out? It'll be probably after Rose Hall. It'll okay. be after Rose Hall. What is your plans after Rose Hall? Are you gonna do another EP? Or are you just gonna let that? 
And we're not talking about NATO, I'm just focusing on you. Okay. So what are, what are your plans? At the Rose Hall, um, I'm gonna put it out and see what it does. Okay. Let it breathe for a little while. And um, I don't know, you know, I have a couple other things up my sleeve that I wanna, you know, venture out into, but I know that it takes one step at a time. It does. And um, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, just going with the flow for right now. Okay, now I already told y'all, before the camera started rolling, Natasha and I are going to play a little game. She's going to pitch me a line. I'll pitch the second line. She pitched the third. I pitched the fourth. Uh, let's just do eight bars. We ain't got to go all day. Okay. So you go first. So what am, I, am I singing? Am I rapping? Whatever you want to do. Now, I only sing in the shower, but I'm a very creative person. So it's all good. I thought this would be a fun thing to do. Since you're a singer-songwriter. All right. Um... I'm here on this interview, having a good time. I like uh, 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 it in my mind. I thought you were supposed to catch the next line. My bad, Natasha, I'll do better next time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Natasha, I just caught the beat and you bring in that E. Uh, well, I just caught the beat too, so we about to eat. I'm so hungry and girl, what you got a taste for? Thing I think I want some sushi or some, some other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you. You're so fun and you're beautiful, by the way. <laughs> Once you. again, my name is Jerry Tomlinson. Um, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at jhovius, and that's J-A-Y-H-O-V-A-H-I-U-S. Don't forget to follow Control Mag on Instagram, and that's K-O-N-T-R-O-L-M-A-G. Um, definitely Brandon J behind the camera. Make sure you follow him as well. And also, you follow Miss Natasha Mosley. Um, do you mind letting them know your um, Instagram and all that information? Um, yes, my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, everything, all Natasha Mosley. And I have music on iTunes, all is Natasha Mosley. Y'all pick up her Rose Hall EP. It'll be out. It's fire. Trust me, it's good. She's a beast, she's talented, and she's sweet as candy. Thank you again. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.